Is climate change real? Or is climate change man-made or it is just a natural occurrence? These are some few questions that can be asked once we talk about climate change. Hello my dear students, welcome back again to my lesson vlog. So this is me once again, Teacher Tia, your science teacher for today. So if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in Science 9. lesson we're going to discuss about climate change and the impacts of climate change. Ano nga ba pag sinabi natin climate change? So climate change is one of the most current worldwide issues and some uh, some experts say that it is true that earth does go through a period of cooling and a period of warming. Yan! Naranasan natin minsan, ay, sobrang lamig. Minsan naman talaga naman, sobrang init. And the increase of temperature that we are experiencing right now, kayo ba nakaka-experience na sobrang init talaga? Lalo na at dadating na naman ang summer. So, this is caused by factors other than human activity. And another point of view is that the increase of Earth's Temperature is brought by the human intervention. Tunay ba? Talaga bang may tayo bang mga tao ay isa sa dahilan kung bakit nga ba nagkakaroon ng climate change? So, well, actually, whether the cause is man-made or not, climate change is the change in the environment. And I know that you are familiar with the global warming. Global warming can bring a rising sea level due to the melting of ice caps and glaciers. At maaaring maka-experience tayo ng severe weather disturbances such as uh, much stronger typhoons. Yan, kung bakit sobra naman grabe kapag bumagyo na. Talagang nakakatakot at marami ang maaaring mamatay kagaya ng typhoon ni Landa. Bakit sobrang severe ang mga typhoons na naranasan natin? And of course, the heavier rain, rainfalls. And of course, may iba't ibang parts ng ating mundo na nakaka-experience sila na tinatawag nating La Nina at saka yung El Nino. And most of all, it can cause extinction of some fauna and fauna. So, i-discuss na natin kung ano nga ba ang climate change. Ang okay, class, so on a warm and dry day, have you experienced na maiwan kayo sa loob ng kotse wherein uh, patay yung makina ng kotse tapos saranong-sarado yung inyo? car, and then nasa ilalim ng tirik na araw. So, ano kaya yung posible nyong maramdaman? Ano, walang aircon sa loob kasi nga patay yung makina. And then, super close nung lahat ng doors, lahat ng windows. So, ano kaya ang marami nyong maaari nyong maramdaman? Okay, very good. Siyempre, talagang papawisan ka dyan kasi sobrang init. Okay, so paano ito related sa topic natin? So, well, yung ganong experience, syempre sobrang init, sobrang magpapawisan ka. So, ganito po ang nangyayari. Kung ito yung maaring mag-demonstrate din, how close space uh, spaces trap the heat. And kung paano ba na yung greenhouse gases ay nagtatrap ng heat. And what is the possible reason for this? So, yung pangyayari ito, this was due to the temperature that is rising in the container, which is kung, nan, kung nasaan ka, doon sa loob ng kotse, tumataas ang temperature doon. So, yung pagtaas ng temperature, ito yung nagre-resulta from keeping the heat from flowing. Kasi sarado yung bintana. Tapos, wala man lang pumapasok na, na hangin, wala rin lumalabas na init. So, natatrap doon lahat ng init, kaya tumataas yung temperature. And that thermal radiation coming from the sun was absorbed by the air inside that car. So, the wall of that car that keeps wall, keeps the warm air from flowing out causes its temperature to rise naman as it continues to absorb heat coming from the sunlight. Isipin nyo yung kotse na sa ilalim ng tirek na araw. Walang lumalabas na, walang pumapasok na hangin, hindi lumalabas yung init na natrap doon. So, talaga ang tendency maabsorb mo lahat ng init kasi nagra-rise yung temperature niya. And this allows heat to flow from air, from warm air to cooler air through the convection. This keeps the temperature from rising as fast as that of the air inside that car. Solar radiation warms the Earth as its energy is absorbed by the atmosphere. So, in the atmosphere, kung saan nandun yung greenhouse gases, so this include 
the water vapor, and then yung carbon dioxide, the methane, and the nitrous oxide. So, when these greenhouse gases prevent heat to escape from Earth, making Earth temperature higher. This figure shows that the greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide, methane, chlorofluorocarbons, and nitrous oxide trap heat preventing it to escape from the earth. All gases absorb heat, some just absorb more than others. So assuming solar radiation is constant, the, the average atmospheric temperature depends on the mix of gases. More greenhouse gases in the atmosphere means that the equilibrium temperature will be higher as these absorb more heat. This will result in the increase of global temperature. Less greenhouse gases means will mean lower temperature. Mankind more or less evolved under conditions of the specific mix of gases, of course, with certain degree of variation in the atmosphere. And we thrive under these conditions. If the mix of gases in the atmosphere were altered considerably, Earth's temperature would change significantly and will be faced with new conditions that we are not used to, which we will have to somehow adapt to or face extinction. Areas that are found in temperate regions may have shorter winter. Countries that are found in tropical regions may have longer and drier summer. Glaciers that cover land will melt, which results in the increase of sea level. The question is, are you a climate hero? or a climate culprit. Oh, isipin nyo. But, well, actually, anyone can be a contributor in the changing of our climate. So it's up to you if you want to make this world remain hospitable to human beings. So always remember that climate is always changing and it has shown how much it could affect our lives. So you have seen the how strong the winds of Typhoon Yolanda during 2013, di ba? And how heavy the rainfall from Ondoy. So talaga namang napakadaming calamities na nangyari sa ating sa ating country, especially the Bohol earthquake, the Sambuanga War, and other related climate change. And of course, we will still have to change our course because the future of our humanity lies in our collective hands. So Piliin mo, are you a climate hero or a climate culprit? Aside from climate change that we are experiencing, we still have two cyclical events that we encounter, El Nino and La Nina. So, ano may pagkakaiba ng dalawa? Ano yung El Nino at ano naman yung La Nina? So, when we say El Nino, it is an abnormal and lengthy warming in the eastern part of the Pacific Ocean. So this natural phenomenon occurs at regular intervals of 2 to 7 years and lasts for 9 months or 2 years at most. Imagine, ganyan katagal. So usually, nagsisimula ang El Nino at the end of the year or during Christmas season. That is why it is termed as El Nino. Kaya siya tinawag na El Nino, which means Christ Child kasi malapit sa December. So, if you can notice in this picture, okay, I'll be showing you the figure of El Nino. Okay, so normally, as trade, uh, as trade wind moves from east to west, kinokollect nito yung warm air. Pero yung trade wind, bumabagal siya or humihina, it causes the piling up of warm surface water and making part of the Pacific Ocean warmer. So, pag init ng Pacific Ocean, ito yung magkukos ng El Nino. At nangyayari ito kapag yung upwelling ng colder water ay nahaharangan nitong mga malalaking quantities ng mainit na surface water. And this, the cause of the weakening of the trade winds is still unknown and it is still being investigated. Since the Pacific Ocean is the east of the Philippines, so ang El Nino, itong El Nino phenomenon, ito talaga ay naapektuhan ang ating bansa. Uh, when there is an increase of the temperature in the eastern part of the Pacific Ocean, so, i-expect na natin na some areas of the Philippines will experience this climatic phenomenon, which is ito na nga El Nino. And some areas in the country will experience near the above rainfall, and some areas will also experience drier than the normal rainfall. And always remember that this El Nino will most likely bring severe drought. Talagang yung sobrang pagkatuyo ng lupa. At pinapaniwalaan na 
uh, it causes danger thunderstorm or stro stronger thunderstorm disturbance and massive storms. Kapag ganitong uminit na ng sobra, ang kapalit niyan ay sobrang lakas naman ng mga kidlat, kulog, at saka malalakas na bagyo. And of course, it also causes the decrease of the population of some species. Alam niyo naman, kapag sobra, talaga, meron talaga mga apektohan dyan. Now, ano naman yung La Nina? So, yung La Nina, kabalik para naman yan ng El Nino. So, La Nina is the opposite of climatic disturbance to El Nino. And this is a natural phenomenon that may or but, not, but does not follow uh, El Nino events. So, it may last for 9 to 12 months, but in some cases, naglalast to ng dalawang taon. Hoy, ang tagal. But this event is triggered by the cooling of the eastern part of the Pacific Ocean. Kaya nga, diba, kabalik na siya ng El Nino. Sa El Nino kasi, sobrang taas ng temperature, umiinit. So, dito naman, bumababa naman yung temperature. The reason why, uh, it is sometimes cold, cold Pacific, kasi malamig naman. Okay, so in this picture, I'll be showing you the picture of La Nina. Okay, so trade winds that move uh, from east to west are strengthened. So upwelling of colder water intensifies. Moving air brings along too much water vapor. When it reaches the land mass, such as the Philippines, precipitation is experienced. There would be an increase of rainfall in some areas in the Philippines. For instance, areas that experience severe drought which caused by El Nino may encounter above normal rainfall. But in some cases, areas that experience dry season will be drier than the normal condition. And La Nina effects, uh, La Nina effects are the opposite of El Nino. This is the end of our lesson vlog for uh, science Nine. So, in our next vlog, we will be discussing about constellation. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. Thank you and I have a good day. Bye! And of course, I am Teacher Din again. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in Science 9.